Good morning, friends. I hope you guys are having a good day. This morning, we're going to sing just one or two songs, and we're going to listen to a story about a really brave young boy. His name was David. Can we sing our Sabbath is a happy day song just to start this morning? Sabbath is a happy day, happy day, happy day. Sabbath is a happy day. I love every Sabbath. One more time and can you clap with me? Sabbath is a happy day, happy day, happy day. Sabbath is a happy day. I love every Sabbath. Good job. And let's start our prayer, uh, our Sabbath school by doing a prayer to Jesus. And we can sing our song, I Talk to Jesus. Okay, can you fold your hands while we sing it? I talk to Jesus when I pray. When I pray, when I pray. I talk to Jesus when I pray. And he hears me, I know. Let's close our eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this beautiful day. Thank you so much for our families and for the time that we get to spend with them. Help us to know that you are strong and that you are mighty and that you can protect us from anything that happens in this world. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Friends, we're going to read a story about David. Now, if you look over here, there's some armies. Let me see if I can do this from over here. And there's a big giant in an army over here. And David had to use some special strength given to him from God in order to fight this giant. So let's hear. God's people had some scary enemies, but the Philistines were the scariest of them all. And now the Philistines had come to fight. The Philistines had a secret weapon called Goliath. Goliath was a terrifying soldier, and worst of all, a giant. A giant so strong and so tall and so scary that no one had ever been able to fight him and live to tell the tale. So there they were, the Philistines standing on top of one hill. These one. God's people standing on top of the other. This army here. Every day, Goliath came out and shouted, send your best soldier to fight me. If he wins, we will be your slaves. But if I win, you will be our slaves. No one spoke and no one moved. Chickens, Goliath bellowed. Your God can't save you. His beady, greedy eyes glowered at them hungrily from under his horrible helmet, as if any minute he really might just gobble them all up. And he laughed, his terrible laugh. Ha, 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 it boomed, echoing horribly around and around the dry, dry valley. Goliath sounds like a very scary type of person to me. Well, Goliath might just have well been a green, slimy monster with three heads because God's people froze with fear. Their eyes glazed over and they turned pale. They knew if someone didn't do something quick, if someone didn't save them. But God would do something. He would send someone to save them. Now, you remember David was the youngest son of Jesse. Well, his brothers were soldiers in the army. One day when David brought his brothers their lunches, he saw Goliath, and he saw how scared everyone was. Don't be afraid, David said. I'll fight him for you. You're only a little shepherd boy, the king said, and Goliath is a great soldier. How will you fight him? God will help me, David said. So the king gave David his royal armor to wear, but it was too heavy and too big, and David couldn't even walk. I won't need this, David said. Instead, David picked out five smooth stones from the stream. One, two, three, four, five. Took his slingshot and walked toward Goliath. Step, step, step. 
So here is David getting dressed in that armor that was way too big and it had no business being on his little body. And there is David in his regular clothes picking up stones out of the stream. This picture right here. There's Goliath, and you can't even see David because all the way down here. Goliath walked towards David. The, 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 you? Goliath peered down at the small boy. I'm little, David shouted up to him, but God is great. Goliath laughed and even terrible or laugh than usual. Ha 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 ha! It went. With just one swing of his giant sword, Goliath could finish the battle. But David kept going. It isn't how strong you are or how many swords and spears you have that will save you. It is God who saves you. This is God's battle and God always wins his battles. So that reminds me of a song. Can you do the song, My God is So Great, with me? Put my book down. Okay, get your hands ready and your arms ready. We're going to do My God is So Great. Ready? Get strong, okay? My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. That's your turn and you gotta do the motions, okay? My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. Great, right? and God is so strong and so mighty and amazing that he could help this little boy down here defeat this giant. David put a stone in his sling, swung it around, and let it go. The little stone flew whiz like a bullet through the air and struck Goliath thud right between the eyes. Goliath stopped laughing. see him there? He stumbled and staggered and crashed. Fell dead. When the Philistines saw Goliath was dead, they ran away, and when God's people saw them running away, they cheered. God had saved his people. David was a hero. Here is David. And this is God's army over here. And Goliath had been defeated right now i don't know if you guys know the song about david but we're gonna do a song about david and it has motions and it's easier if you're standing up teacher's not gonna stand up but maybe you can and you can do the motions because at the end you're supposed to fall down okay only a boy named david only a little swing only a boy named David, but he could pray and sing. Only a boy named David, only a Brooklyn Brook. Only a boy named David, but five little stones he took. And one little stone went in the sling, and the sling went round and round. And one little stone went in the sling, and the sling went round and round. And round and round and round and round and round and round and round. And round. And one little stone went up in the air, and the giant came tumbling down. We're going to do it again, and this time at the end, you can pretend to be the giant and fall down, just like he did, okay? Only a boy named David, only a little sling. 
Only a boy named David, but he could pray and sing. Only a boy named David, only a rippling brook. Only a boy named David, but five little stones he took. And one little stone went in the sling, and the sling went round and round. And one little stone went in the sling, and the sling went round and round. And round and round and round and round and round and round and round. And one little stone went up in the air, and the giant came tumbling down. I hope you enjoyed our story today, friends, and I hope that you learned that no matter how big or how small you are, it does not matter. God can help you do amazing things, and he will always protect you. Have a happy Sabbath. Bye-bye.